We're here with the man that created the Potato Expo, <laughs> the CEO of the National Potato Council, John Keeling. Who better to start the eye and who better to end the eye? Congratulations on yet another fabulous Potato Expo. Thank you. Thank you. So, you know, it's it's been uh, two days coming to the end. Partying is going to start. Um, we, we've learned a lot from the people at the Innovation Hub. We've learned a lot of from people here. We're talking about a lot more technology, uh, both physical technology like drones with tractors that can turn around themselves, as well as, you know, biotech and technology with with all the inputs that growers need. Um, so been a huge success. Um, people attending the hub, you know, they've been drowning us out with their applause. I, I turned around at one point. I thought the applause was for well, me, right. but but it of wasn't course, it was for the people on the stage. So, you know, give us the bird's eye view. You know, how do you feel about the 11th Potato Expo? What are we coming away with? Well, I tell you, Expo has, has grown not only in terms of attendance, but in terms of, as you say, content. And I think that's the most important thing. And so I, I think we have made a big effort to keep it fresh and new ideas uh, every time. And I think it reflects that. I think the new uh, tighter format where we've really sort of taken the same thing, squeezed it a little bit in terms of time and sort of increased the energy level within yep, that uh, is really exciting. I think people it's, are staying till the end and all that. So I think it's great. I think though you have to always go back to what makes expo expo what makes this that and that is you know it's obviously the attendees but it's who these attendees are and how they relate to each other and how they feel about each other and the, the sense of family that exists in the potato industry and it is you just feel that all the time so uh, i you know i think there's you know we'll always room to continue to make yeah. things better we will but i think it's a it's a great thing for this industry uh when we started uh 10 years ago uh, we hope that we could get 500 people to come to a place and, and, and focus on potatoes. You know? And uh, we've been able to do that and then some over the years. So I, I, I think, yep. yeah, yeah. Yep. So I, I think it's a great thing. Um, so we look forward to uh, Vegas next year and people love Vegas and I hope we get a big attendance there. Well, one of the things that certainly have come across with the interviews with the eye and just the people that I've talked to is, to your point, this is, is more than just a trade show. This is colleagues who work together day in and day out from the farming side, from, you know, the, the pesticide side to the manufacturing side. We've had a lot of uh, people from both sides here being interviewed. And what they talk about is they talk about the collaboration. And the sense that I get is this collaboration is unique to potato growers, that it's very different than wheat or corn or soy. Sure, they work together, but it's more, it, you know, it's more of a business relationship versus a collegial relationship. Well, potato production from field to the table or field to processing is a complicated deal. And there's a lot of moving parts and a lot of people involved in it at all levels. And this brings that whole supply chain together. We had lots of representatives from the frozen processors here. We mm -hmm. had fresh shippers. We had representatives of the retail stores. We had Walmart people were here. So it's that supply chain wide coverage, if you will, that I think really does bring this whole thing together and make it really, really more relevant to every participant. It does. And also they're able to work together to solve problems. One of the things we heard a lot about are potato viruses and how these people, whether it's through, you know, photo imagery from satellites or from drones, they're working together with the input people, with the farmer, with the equipment. And I think that's very unique. And one of the things I, I talked about before earlier on, I think it was yesterday, is there's no other aspect of the food industry. Um, no other channel that has this kind of collaboration. So you don't have the dairy expo that that has dairy farmers come with all the equipment, with with all the people. Ice cream processors or whatever. Yeah, no, you, it's not. You don't it's not. have that. Um, this is the only, um, and, I, and I hate to use the word commodity, but this is the only crop 
better word, that really has this, um, that we're not walking around tasting different potato chips, that this is really geared to the potato farmer. We're, we're small enough as an industry and we're interconnected to a degree that's probably greater than the other. So one person's failure leads to the failure of other parts of the industry. If we don't produce the right amount of potatoes and have them ready at the right times, the processors don't work. And so, and a lot of this works where there are folks are contracted. And so there, there's a business relationship there that the success of the one business relationship is, la, is laid upon top of the success of the next one. And, and that, you know, that's a, a connectedness that's not, is there. The other thing that's unique about potatoes, and we try to emphasize this at, at Expo, and you have helped us do that, is the fact that, you know, when you, if you look at wheat, if you produce wheat, um, you're sort of not yet food. Right. You yeah. are. It's pretty you are, boring. You're, it's pretty boring. You're, you're, well, it's not boring. It's, <laughs> yeah, the, it's the fruit of life. It's, it's you're not yet, right. you're not yet bread, you right. know? If potatoes at some level are uniquely there as food. And, they, and right. we do emphasize that with the cooking demonstrations and all that. This is about potatoes and how consumers can think about potatoes and how we think about consumers. Absolutely. And we, when we look at the Spud Nation throwdown, and this is the first year you stepped in as a judge. How was that experience? You know, I really did enjoy being yeah. a judge. I felt completely <laughs> inadequate. In fact, <laughs> I asked, I asked the uh, Simon, who was, was, was uh, the host, host yeah. Of, yeah. The, of the contest, who's obviously very uh, experienced in cooking contests and cooking shows. Yeah, on. What knowledge. do you do? How do you how do you yeah. uh, actually taste food yeah, in a way yeah. that's more than just digging in and, yeah. and throwing it down? So uh, and he had some good hints for me. So it helped me be a better judge. But sure. it was uh, I love the enthusiasm around it. I love the creativity we saw out of the chefs. Sure. And it was interesting to me that uh, I like to cook and I could see things that I parts of it that I felt like I could do. And yet there was nuance both in whether it was seasoning or technique or whatever that took it to the next level. And you go, hey, these are professionals. These so, guys are good. So you're it's taking the, notes. So, it's like the yeah. amateur golfer who watches yeah. the, show, the the PGA Tour on, yeah. on Sunday and goes, you know, those guys are really good. <laughs> yeah. They can do things. I can, the same golf ball, same club, right. they do things I, don't, I can't do. Right. So I had that experience with it. Yeah. Well, John, congratulations on yet another very successful Potato Expo. And here's to 2020 and in Las Vegas. And if I could take a second, yeah. Bill, yeah. thanks to you. Uh, this is your third, fourth. No, fourth, fourth, and then one before that. So this is actually the it's fifth. your fifth Expo. Potato so you've been expo. here almost half of the yeah. Expos. Yeah. And uh, we have always appreciated your uh, passion for potatoes. Passion for <laughs> potatoes. potatoes. And your interest in uh, your suggestions and so it has been uh, for me a pleasure to, well, to do that. So. Thank you so much. And thank you for creating all this for well, the I industry. create Me creating is a very big jump, a leap of faith. No, There's lots and lots of people so. that were involved in thinking through this yes. and making it happen. Yes, absolutely. So, uh, uh, but it was your good, vision. Good ideas created. have many, many mothers and fathers and yes. bad ideas die bastard children. Exactly. So with that, we're going to wrap up the eye at the Potato Expo, but the Potato Expo is not over. We still have a reception to go. We've got lots of music. We've got lots of food and we even have potato beer. So stay with us and don't forget, not only have you seen this live on Facebook, live on YouTube, but every one of these segments are going to be posted on the Potato Expo webpage. And every week for the next year, you're going to get an email from Potato Expo and the National Potato Council with each segment. So we're here to educate you 365 days a year. And till that, potatoes forever.